Hi, thanks for joining me. I would like to share with you today another crystal setup for drawing money. Now with this setup, I'm also using candles. So it's going to be another experiment. The last one works pretty well. So I'm just going to tweak this to see if it will increase or double the quantity of the money that I'm receiving. So what I have is I have this stone here. Again, I'm using this really large stone. It connects as a connection to the earth. We're going to use all of the energy that we can. Use three bills. And I'm using, um, I guess you say the number three for this setup. So I'm using three bills. Use the largest ones that you are able to set up and leave because you don't want to disturb this. I'm using three candles. The white one is for clearing and preparing a pathway for money to travel to you. And then the two green ones I'm using, it is the purpose of the setup and that is to draw money. Now, you'll write your petition on your candles, cleanse them as normal, write your petition on the candle itself. You wanna name the candle, label the candle with the purpose and that's for all of them. On to this, I want all the major elements to be within this uh, triangle that I set up here. And I just, let me move this to the side and then you can see how I did it. I just laid them down, as you can see here. They're not going to make a perfect triangle like in here. But my main thing was to... My main goal was to keep this at a point there. So that means probably tweaking this a little here or there. If it's sticking out on one side, I like it sticking out on the other side. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I wanted to go to a point because I had it going, of course, to the money box. Now what I'm going to do is I'll place this candle here. That's the candle for the money with the money purposes written on it. The other one is here and I'm gonna put it in place last. The stones that I'm using are of different sizes and I generally like to use stones that are similar in size because they'll move the about the same amount of energy. However, I can't get my hands on the large stones and I'm going to use these with the point on them. I'm just going to lay them down facing the box on top of a selenite stone and the selenite stone will help magnify the energies of these other stones. The quartz crystal will do it too. So if you have a quartz crystal, you can use it in place of this selenite. Now this is a sort of a wand or a log. It's called, it's flat on a couple of sides. And if you don't have something that's like this, you can still use these as long as they uh, use your stones as long as as long as they're touching and I'll show you with the stone here which is a topaz now when you use the topaz and the selenite and the amethyst in conjunction with each other they tend to bring your desires um, concerning money it says your desires but I'm going to use this one concerning money because these stones used together can generally is for money business or finances so each stone has quite a few metaphysical properties but these are the ones we're concentrating on so i'm going to place the selenite wand here in the middle it doesn't necessarily have to touch the other candle is going to go here i'm going to place that last i want that here be careful to make sure sorry about that be careful to make sure that everything is set in a way that it's safe now this candle since it's moving things out of the way I want it here at the point as far as as you'll see in a moment it's I'm moving it in a direction from east to west following the movement of the Sun now this has a flat side, quite a few flat sides, and I'm going to use it to point 
towards the money box. This citron also has a flat side. I want the yellow side up. Citron is just amethyst that's been heated. So I'm going to place it here. And as you see, I'm just making sure it sits onto that wand that's there. Remember again, I'm working in three, so this stone here is one. That wand is two, and I'm going to use an extra one of these uh, topaz pieces as the third one. So I'm going to use four topaz pieces, which will be just fine. But this one I want in the middle of these two. And I want them touching. These three I want touching. So if you don't have a wand to set your crystals on top of, you can just set them next to each other so that they're touching. So these are about, these will make a good size to make up for not having a large topaz. And all I'm doing is placing them here near the other one so that it's pointing. I'm going to see if I can get this one. To lay down. I was holding my breath a little bit on that. With that one laying down, I can set this one because it has a flat side on it. I can set this one on top of that one. So these three are touching, and then the other two, well, three. This top one is smaller, so it's not really touching. It's touching the bottom one. And then these two are in place here to act as one piece. All four of these will act as one piece, but they're all connected to the selenite wand that is about hidden now underneath, which is fine. And now I'm going to place the last candle in place. And shifting it over because I want most of it contained uh, inside this the bills. So the candles will be slightly on the outside. There. Now that's a complete setup. Now I'll join the crystals. And then I will light this last candle. And now that setup is complete. And I will not disturb that until I want to change it again. Or those candles burn out. I will probably replace this candle. So I will make note. And that's what you want to do. Make note of the setup. What it's for. The date maybe the time that you did the setup so i'll show you complete setup everything is pointing inward to this box and i'm filling that box with money and every so often i'll empty that out i have a few crystals inside the box too but i want everything to point going into the box okay so hope that's a nice setup for you try it out let me know how it works for you thank you for joining me until next time